coming up. In this video, you will learn how to use Adobe Fonts with Beaver Builder. Setting up Adobe Fonts to work with Beaver Builder involves the following four steps. Step one is get rid of Google Fonts. Step two is to create a web project and get the embed code. Step three is to add the embed code to the customizer. And step four, add CSS rules to determine where the font is used on your WordPress site. Note that these instructions assume that you have the Beaver Builder theme, but you should be able to follow similar steps for most other themes. The first step is to get rid of Google Fonts. If your theme is currently using a Google font for your heading or body font, it will still be loaded even after being overridden with an Adobe font, which can slow down your page load time. Here's how to stop the Google font from loading. From your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance, Customize, and click on the General tab in the Customizer. If you plan to use an Adobe font for the headings, click Headings. Then for Font Family, select one of the system fonts such as Verdana. If you plan to use an Adobe font for body text, click Text. Then for font family, select one of the system fonts, again, such as Verdana. Click on Save and Publish. The next step is to create a web project and get the embed code from Adobe Fonts. First, you'll want to choose a font to use. If you're not sure, you can start by browsing the library of fonts. You can choose the language support you require from the Languages and Writing Systems drop-down menu. Here, we'll click English. You can add tags or filters to refine the list of fonts. In this example, we're going to use Proxima Nova. We can search for this font in the search box. On the font family page, you will see all of the font weights and styles that are available to use. Click the Add to Web Project button at the top of the page to add the family to a web project. In the Add Fonts to a Web Project window, Name your web project and use the checkboxes to select the font weights and styles you want to include. When you're finished, click on Create to create your project. Next, you'll be given the embed code to load the fonts into your website. Note that you'll be able to make additional changes to the project settings from your My Adobe Fonts page. The different options are explained in the Embed Code Help page found on the Adobe site, which I can link up to in the description below. And the default Embed Code works well for most projects. Go ahead and click to copy the Embed Code. Step three is to add the Embed Code to your WordPress Theme Customizer. From your WordPress Theme Customizer, go to Code and click on Head Code. This ensures the code is pasted into the head area of the web page. Next, go ahead and paste in the Adobe embed code. Step four is to add CSS rules to determine where the font is going to be used on your WordPress site. In this example, we are going to add the Proxima Nova font to both the heading and body of our website. In the WordPress theme customizer, go to Additional CSS. Over on our knowledge base, we have a couple of examples. We are going to add code for the heading font as well as for the body font. The following example rule selects the headings to which the font applies. In this example, our font Proxima Nova. It also specifies a fallback font if Proxima Nova isn't found. The fallback is the generic family sans serif, and the exact sans serif font is left to the user's browser to decide. Go ahead and copy the heading font CSS example, as well as the body font CSS, and paste it here in the customizer. There are several places you can add custom CSS on your WordPress site, and the Adobe font site has some information about how to construct the CSS rules. I will leave links to both of these articles in the description below this video. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.